Hello everybody, happy Sunday. We're doing a Sunday reset vlog. Was supposed to go apple picking today, which I was really excited about, but it's supposed to rain at the orchard we were hoping to go to. So we decided to reschedule it because we were gonna like rent a car and do all that. And it would stink if we drove two hours and then it was raining. So it's all good. I've honestly been very go, go, go. My aunt stayed over last night. She lives on Long Island. So she came for the day yesterday. Um, my manager was in town and I just did some other things. With, like there was just visitors. So it's kind of nice for me to have a day to just relax and do things for me. So my aunt just left, it's 11, It's almost 12. We went to breakfast at like a diner this morning, walked around and I grabbed a couple groceries. I got some cauliflower, cause I wanna try and cook cauliflower um, a certain way. I got some green beans, some eggs, some half and half, nothing really crazy actually, but I should have gotten like chicken so I could like make a full meal tonight. We'll just have to go to the grocery store again, maybe. Also, if you guys didn't know, I created a planner with Doing Well Daily. I created it in college, it was two years ago. I'm obsessed with it, I still use it every morning. I love Doing Well Daily as a whole. Um, and they're back on the website for a limited time only, basically while supplies last. So go to Doing Well Daily and look for the Danielle Carolyn collaboration. And that's the planner that I use every morning that you guys see I use my vlogs. So. I did that this morning and there's just some things I want to get done today. I also decided I'm going to go to a yoga class because I don't really feel like doing intense workout today, but I feel like a nice vinyasa flow class would be nice. And since I just joined Equinox, they have classes as a part of the membership. So my friend Mary Steven and I are going to go to Equinox, maybe hit the steam room after the yoga class. We'll see. First things first. I want to wash my sheets because I like to clean my sheets on Sunday. I did change my sheets yesterday before she came, but I don't know. I don't know. I just want to clean my sheets again because she was here and now she's not going to be here. So we're going to do that. Clean my sheets. What else do I want to do? I'd like to tackle that corner so it's not super messy. I started hanging up my curtains again. It took us so long because they're like snap curtains, so we used pliers. So I got one panel, but I still have to do that side, that side, and that side. I already have the curtains, but it definitely looks lovely in here. I'm still getting used to this layout, still trying to decide if I like it, honestly. And then my counter over here has just all kinds of stuff, so I'd like to ideally, you know, make this look a little bit cleaner, less chaotic. And then I also just got these baskets from Birch Lane and they're beautiful. I got them to go under my console to store just like tech stuff, just extra things. I haven't, I do have wire covers <laughs> because I know that's like not a vibe, but I haven't put them up yet because there's a chance and I really hope I don't end up doing it that I might move my TV a little bit more centered with the wall if I keep the tables there. It all depends on if I keep the tables there. So, just unclear on all of that. But if I move the if I move the mirror back to this corner, then I'll keep the console where it is, if that makes sense. So, I don't want to put the wire covers until I know where the TV's going. So, just trying to live with this vibe until further notice. And then in the kitchen, I did I ran the laundry or the dishwasher yesterday, so I'd like to unload that. My aunt yesterday brought me some beautiful banana bread, which I thought was really sweet. My closet room could also use a little sprucing up, I have some clothes that I need to hang up and, you know, clean this. Oh, that was the other thing. I want to build my Ikea Alex drawers today. I've literally had them since the day I moved in and I haven't built them and it's time to build them. I want to put the Alex drawers in my glam room so that I can finally, I have one box in my bathroom that still needs to be undone and it's like a ton of makeup so I want to put that in the Alex drawers finally and yeah maybe wash some towels got my candles going in here I just love it I have just a little bit left of my laundress 
Kith detergent and it smells so good and my friend Clara was telling me she likes to use like her nice good smelling detergent on her sheets because it just kind of comes through to your apartment through the sheets like I just totally agree with that so I'm going to use the rest of this. Another wreck from my friend Clara, I got these Shout Wipe and Go Wipes. I love the Shout Stain Removal Spray, it really, really works, but sometimes you're just on the go, and she said these truly work. So, they came in a pack of six on Amazon, and I will keep you guys posted if they work, but I'm just gonna put them in my laundry room for now. I need to organize this, like, way better, so it's more functional for me, like it's, Easy to get to my laundry buffet, as I call it, but like my sheets should definitely just be more folded and you know, all the things. But that's a later problem. <laughs> okay, so if you guys didn't know, I got my third piercing. I'm breaking out right now. I got a hydrofacial, which I usually love them, and I'm breaking out. I should put pimple patches on. I got my third piercing like a little bit ago. Oh my god, my skin. Um. My trainer, Jane, told me about this. They have it on Amazon. If you just got a piercing, this is way easier to use than like everything they tell you to use to clean your piercings with. H2 Ocean Purified Ocean Salt Water Piercing After Hairspray. It's literally so easy. And you don't have to like rub it, you know, you just, I just like spray it and then I like wipe the inner part of my ear so I don't get swimmer's ear or anything. But it's just so easy and then boom, done. So I just try to do it whenever I can, but it's a lot easier than like getting like a pen and a clean, you know, it just, it sprays, so it gets all in there, I think. So yeah, what was the other thing I was going to do in here? Oh yeah, might as well put on some pimple patches. These are the, um, oh my god, why am I blanking? Oh, Hero Cosmetics, that's what it's called, duh. But my pimples are like flat now. Whatever, this way I won't touch them. Half the reason I put on pimple patches is just so I don't touch my skin. Because when I was younger, I would pick at my face and pop them and then they would spread. But I've really found as I've grown up, as I don't touch them, the pimples, they come and they go. So, we love that. Something else I just got, because so many of you were commenting on my video and I really appreciate letting me know. Apparently putting olive oil in like a clear situation like this can make it go bad faster. So I got this one and it's like for olive oil and it's darker. I guess keeping it in a darker bottle helps it. So I'm gonna transfer that. I should have bought more olive oil today too. I'm running low. I also, I think I showed you guys one of my moving vlogs. I got this little wooden, it's like a little just wooden tray thing to put my salt and pepper on. It was the best thing I ever did because then instead of having to like always clean off my counter and it's so hard to clean salt and pepper off your counter. You have to like drag it towards whatever. I just got this and then I just wipe it off and then I put the salt and pepper back on. Got my new olive oil situation there, much better. And then this one I'm just gonna wash out and save because maybe if I make, I don't know, something. This is a good bottle, I'm gonna keep it.
So I just got off the phone with my mom. We did our weekly like catch up and while we were on the phone, I went ahead and organized my whole like laundry shelf situation and I could not be happier. I'm so happy I did it. I organized this top part. I put one of these little like acrylic shelves I had from my last apartment, put like split it up so I have my shout new wipes under there and then my other detergents. Then the main one there, toilet paper. I could even put more if I wanted. Up here I have my washcloths, washcloths, and then like pillowcases, towels, and then under it are extra sheets. So I have uh, two more things of bed sheets in the wash right now, because I forgot I had put another thing of bed sheets in the washer. So I washed those together, so I'm hopefully gonna be able to fold those and fit them in there. And I'm waiting, oh, a minute, a minute they're gonna be done, and then I can put this in there, and then I can do the my darks in the washer, and we'll be good to go. I'm packing a little bag for Equinox because I think Mary Steven and I are going to get in the steam room after the yoga class, so I'm just putting everything in this tote. I have this set from Spanx, oh, I need a bra. Brush, this little face gym collagen, like a moisturizer, because I showered there the other day and I completely forgot to put on moisturizer. I actually think they have Kiehl's moisturizer there, but my face felt so dry. A mini deodorant, I'm sure they have that there too, but whatever. Um, what else would I need? Oh, like leave-in conditioner maybe? I have a little one of these in my travel bag, so I'm going to bring this way leave-in conditioner. And then I think that should be good to get me back. <laughs> I'll bring like an extra pair of socks or something. Or I guess I'll be taking my shoes off for yoga. So good on that part. We are back now. I um, loved the yoga class. It was so revitalizing. Like... I don't even know how to explain it. Like, just a good old vinyasa flow class. It was a full class. It was so nice being there with Mary Steven. I actually saw Jazz and Hallie there. They were doing like 12 through 30. But yeah, the yoga class was so great. It was relaxing. Yeah, I could definitely feel it being a workout. Um, and then we got in the steam room for like seven, eight minutes. I sweat it out that I needed to shower there. But it's like humid because it's kind of rainy out. So now my hair is kind of gross. Um, but I went to my friend's, I went to Mary Steven's house or apartment after and caught up with her and Morgan. And then, yeah, now I'm here. Ryan's about to be here. He's grabbed some meat for us to cook. It feels so late, but it is like 7.30. So, um, I'm sure the laundry is now done, so I need to switch some of that out. My bed I already made with other sheets I had because I was impatient. And yeah, I'm gonna just keep doing laundry. Get the vibes going in here, light some candles. I really just like, I'm not vibing with my hair right now. Oh, but yeah, loving my Equinox membership so far. That's what I gotta say about that. Sunday night football is on, about to cook this cauliflower. I've got the rice boiling. Ryan bought some chicken. Trying to decide if we should do beans too, I don't know. Got the cauliflower going in there. Just used olive oil, salt, and pepper. I was gonna do like cheese on it, but I don't know. I'm gonna wait to see what Ryan says. Boiling water for rice. I'm loving this thing still. It's the OXO, like, t grip tight, I don't know, airtight things. And they're so great for storing stuff like, oh, did that just move? I hope I just moved that. But I'm loving cooking in this kitchen. It is so delightful. Ryan's here. He's the chicken master. I have chicken seasoning back there. I have onion powder, garlic powder, salt, pepper. Taco seasoning, but we don't. A little bit of everything. A little bit of everything, I'm scared. <laughs> we got the chicken. I'm not gonna show people the raw chicken. I feel like some people, oh, I need to stir that. It's fine. You need more water, dude. I did two cups in two cups. That's weird, but yeah, I'll add a little bit more water. Anyways, what's just going on in here? You would think it's a Georgia game day, right? Now I just realized I'm wearing this. Good dogs. <laughs> Good Number one. Dinner is served. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. Good job, Ryan. Thank you. It's like you've cooked chicken before. Wait, where are the eggs? Where are the eggs? At Friday Egg Flips. Where? I'm <laughs> check. They're around here. Somewhere. Oh. This is so weird, walking all the way over here to eat, but dinner is served. It looks so good. Guys, it's a miracle. 
Ryan is like, you just need me to snap them? <laughs> so thankfully, I will have curtains up in no time. It's so hard, you guys are your thumbs so bad, but since he's so strong, yee. Yeah. Okay, just took all the pieces out, you guys. I'm a little overwhelmed, but this is what it's gonna look like. I'm very excited. Can't wait to fill this with all of my products. She fits. Unfortunately, it blocks these clothes, but this will be so nice. I'll be doing my makeup. Oh, I want to try this product. To get used to. Oh, sorry. To get used to <laughs> how this looks. But I'm so excited. Yay! It's done finally. Yule log is going, and I'm about to. Folds my lights my darks are still in the dryer, but Yeah, that ends this Sunday reset vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed and Hopefully this inspired you to get after it this Sunday or just relax whatever whatever feels right for you I love you guys subscribe if you're new here, and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye. Bye